Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Grammy nominee. When I mean Grammy nominee, I'm talking about the video O O One Omo Baba Oluwo. The video performing at the BM Hono, a uh, BMC Hono, a uh, night in Los Angeles. That's a uh, an event by a uh, Grammy, the Recording Academy. So uh, the video actually performed yesterday and it was a massive event also i'm going to be leaving the video for you of top afrobeat uh, uh analysts talking about the grammy what to expect who is to win which award and what they're actually expecting uh on the 4th of february which is on sunday february 4th which is going to be the main day of the grammy so definitely to me i feel say the video is going to win big but at the end of the day we should actually wait till that time but then i'll be leaving a video for you guys to watch the video's performance yesterday at the uh, bmc honor night in los angeles and also these are uh, afrobeat spectators actually talking about uh what to expect at the 2024 grammy and how uh, some artists are going to win award and stuff like that so just watch the video and share your topic in the comment section in case you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe because in here it's all about entertainment and vibes a big shout out to you guys peace <laughs> Multi-platinum producer, yes. my brother Harmony Samuel, many Grammys, listen, though. too many Grammys, too many plaques, finally, <laughs> apart from your blue coat, Africa's got, Africa's got its own category at the Grammys, what are your thoughts, what do you think? Well, they're like 10 years late. Yeah, but I'm happy. This is what we've been fighting for as a family, as a unit, separately, together. It's about time, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I think the categories are amazing. I think the nominees are exactly who they need to be. And I'm rooting for who I'm rooting for. Hey, who you rooting for? I can't say. I can't say. <laughs> you know if he wins tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm excited. I'm just excited. It's, it's definitely it's a heat. I'm excited we're in the building, man. That's all I like. Years and years of pushing and fighting for the culture. I dare you've been pushing for the culture. Family, everybody. Come on, you've been pushing for the culture. And uh, we're here now. Absolutely. Right? Nigeria's in the building. Let's go. Africa's in the building. <laughs> but yeah, this man, swag, this, this swag is serious, my Too Jigga. Much Too much. much. Damn 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 is, yeah. My Damn brother, Jenna, there's a new Damn category is. for Africa at the Grammys. Oh, what yeah. are your thoughts? And what does this mean for us, man? <laughs> It's 500 years too late. Yeah. It's 500 years too late. We've been making music for a long time. All of even the Grammy music, American music, has been influenced by African music. Ask Quincy Jones, ask Michael Jackson. It's been a long time coming. But I'm happy and proud of everybody that built the bridge. All of us did it. And it's a blessing to be here. Finally, we're recognized. Finally. But again, our recognition should be our own. I don't care honestly about the Grammys. I care that we care about our own. So make we make we make our own Grammys. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, brother. And I'm nominated. Let's go. <laughs> Fields. We're live in Los Angeles. What are your thoughts about Afro beats and African pop music being man. recognized this way at the Grammys? I mean, it's a long time coming, man. We've been ready for this since the days of Ella and Nicola Bokuti. And you know, now that we are here, we are taking over the world. One song at a time, one stadium at a time, one arena at a time, one fields at a time. Absolutely. You understand? So we give glory to God for where we are, where we are coming from and where we are right now. Brand new music Brand produced new music with now. Usher collaboration. Usher Come on, talk to me about fields. that, man. Man, it's just it's a God thing, you understand? It's, you know, my mom still say, "Oh, God, you know, understand." Pass mankind wisdom. It's God wisdom. You get me? That's how we're running. And that's the beginning. The Let's go. Get that. <laughs> my billionaire friend. No, don't do that. My billionaire friend. Don't do that. Listen. What's a gigabyte on your phone? Chubsy. Quick one, brother. Ubi 
KC, Africa is represented this weekend. Sure. What are your thoughts? How do you feel, bro? Well, I'm excited. I feel good as why I'm here to celebrate what we started. We started this journey and I'm excited it's here right now. And I think um, anybody that is alive to witness this need to celebrate with us. I'm here to celebrate Africa and Afrobeat. Let's go. Easy. Let's get it. Maybe if you can give me that chain, make I just take home myself. <laughs> Super so producer Jules, my brother, you're in LA. So, LA. What are your thoughts about? I didn't say this is my brother, Nana Carbonell. Ah, oh, that's yeah. the brother that works with Jidena. And Janelle Monae, Grammy nominated, yeah. progressive album, yeah. R and B, that's album incredible. of the year. Yes. We're in LA yes. celebrates an African culture. Exactly, brothers. Talk to me about this new category for African music at the Grammys and what this means for us as a people. It's a little late, it's a little late, but mm -hmm. simultaneously it's a beautiful thing that people finally caught up to the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's going to open up plenty of doors for the continent, so I'm fucking appreciative. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Very soon Absolutely. they will begin to realize how influential we've been for the last three, four hundred years. Absolutely. Mm. And then when we have our own award ceremony, African Awards, you're gonna get everybody flocking to us and trying to understand what we do. But the thing about Africa is, we don't play, our source is different, it's traditional, it's cultural. So it can never be duplicated, it can never be replicated. We are amazing people, different forms of life, whether you're Nigerian, Ghanaian, Cameroon, South African, Kenyan, whatever. It's Our sound is unique. Nobody can duplicate us. That's why we're so powerful. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate it. Catch two questions. My brother, What's Africa up? has been recognized. Niger, what's going on? Yeah. Godfrey, Africa New York City comedian. Yeah. Grew up in Chicago, but I'm from Emo State. Arun Diziogo yes. was Emo State Ebos all day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my my son, my, my uncle is Sonny Okosin, and my cousin is uh, Onyeka Owenu. So since, yeah, since, I just want to say that. Since you've got an uncle, a legend, Yes. And my another, aunt. your aunt is another legend. Onyeka Owenu. Uh, African music has got its first category at the Grammys this weekend. Finally. What are your thoughts about that? I think it's amazing because you think about listening to Nigerian music, old school Nigerian music from Sunny Ade to Ebenezer Obe, Joe Nez, all the old school, you know, and you, 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 we always thought it was such a specific kind of music. And now with Afrobeat, which, well, Fela created the Afrobeats from the 60s and 70s, but this new Afrobeat where you got, you know, all, um, and Davido and uh, Burner Boy and, and Peace Corps, it's just amazing that and it's it's the top music i mean you got hip-hop and then you got afrobeat it's it's beautiful i mean even jell-off rice is popular now jell-off i mean they got jell-off battles now ghana thinks they could take us over but they don't understand we the nikes of the africans you guys are adidas don't 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 get it twisted my friend nijas are number one you're, at, you're making mouths you understand our jollof rice is the best. I don't care. Even if yours tastes good, I will spit it out and say mine is better.